here I have a MacBook Air year 2020 that runs on an M1 chip as you can see that is a cracked screen it's not a wallpaper trust me it's a cracked screen so if you're looking for a screen replacement hopefully this video can help you with that with only 157 so I got this screen replacement from Amazon uh, which is only cost me 157 of course you need to buy some tools for the repair but other than that hey for that price we should go ahead and replace the screen why waste a nice laptop that has still some use of it right so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to press and hold the power button until the screen shuts off all right let's go ahead and identify the model here so it doesn't matter if it's a silver or space gray um, or even the uh, the rose gold this model here is A2337 that is the model of this MacBook Air so let's go ahead and get started what I'll do is I'll link where to get the screen down in the description below again I got this from um, Amazon and if you are Amazon Prime do look it up I'll be using a Pentelope P5 this is a Pentelope P5 you need to remove all the screws because we need to remove the back cover in order for this um, screen replacement so there are four screws here on the top the screws on the top which is a lot larger uh, I mean longer compared to the screw here at the very bottom Once you have all the screws removed, let's go ahead and remove the back cover. You can just tuck it underneath and then lift the back cover straight up. And you can hear the two little clicker right in the center. It kind of pop open right there. The two clickers are right there. At this point, we would like to disconnect the battery. There's a little clipper right here flip it open slide it towards yourself slightly a little bit and then just lift it straight up so these things is actually like you have to slide in so you kind of tuck it in for the battery and then clip it on so you need to un unclip and then slide it out once the battery is disconnected let's just drum right into it I'll be using a T3 this is a torque T3 uh, screwdriver I am removing that screw here which is the Wi-Fi antenna screw connector with the bracket remove that got a plastic prying tool go underneath that cable and lift it straight up be very careful with the connector especially the one here at the bottom Still using a Torque T3. What I recommend to do is to take a picture of the laptop, making sure that um, take a picture of the laptop, print it out in a printer, use that as a reference. When you remove the screw, you can just kind of put it on top of the paper, uh, the, the printed paper, that as a reference, you're not going to mix match the screw after. Once you remove the two screws and the bracket, flip open the uh, video connector. This is the little ribbon cable. They are kind of like Lego. You just go underneath and flip it open. This is a T5. Two screws. One and two. 
once you remove the two screws the um, LCD screen board this is the uh, the LCD screen board <clears throat> will just come loose okay just wanted to point it out to you once you remove the screen and this thing will just come loose using the same screw T5 removing four screws two on the right and two on the left which is holding down the Wi-Fi antenna once you have removed that making sure that things are not caught in a way so what I like to do is spend some time here to um, get this thing out because they do have some sort of uh, adhesive tape just taping it down uh, to remove this I need to kind of wiggle around uh, get myself into underneath that Wi-Fi antenna cable use the plastic prying too because um, if you use the metal sometimes you might sleep and when you sleep uh, you might scratch the computer or poke something uh, in a metal so take your time as you can see I'm just going underneath that gently because the tape is taping down onto the the computer Once you have the Wi-Fi antenna removed, you have to go um, through that LCD board. Just remove that. I'll be using a T8. That is the torque T8. Remove three screws here on the right side of the hinge. remove another three screws here on the left side of the hinge Once you're done with that process, let's go ahead and open up the computer. When you open up the screen, and of course my uh, keyboard thing fell off. Open up the screen, and then the hinge can slide, <clears throat> and the hinge can slide out. Just slide it out, okay? Here's the replacement screen. It's a full assembly screen. Okay, what I'd like to do next is to open up the hinge. As you can see, the hinge is folded back because of the shipping reason. Uh, they want to make sure the hinge is closed so that they can do the packaging, wrap it up nicely. Uh, what I'm using is the T8, which is a lot uh, thicker and stronger screw. Uh, you just want to slightly hold a little bit on the hinge and then just kind of uh, tilt it back. Make sure you push all the way to the back and now is to install the install into the computer 
uh, making sure that the LCD board, the board here has to be sitting on top of the laptop like like that. It has to be above, above on the laptop. Okay. Now the next step is to match the hinge. The hinge has to slide it in. Okay, once you have one inch, the hinge slide in, you want to work the same on the other side of it. Slide it in like such. When you have both of the hinges into the computer, uh, double check the uh, <coughs> LCD board, making sure it's not caught or clipped onto the screen. While you're holding the screen with the hand su supporting it underneath, uh, get one of the screw. We need to close the screen in order to work the rest of the installation so put one screw in first on one side and then put another screw here on the other side so that we can uh, we can uh, close the close the screen Okay, now we can close the screen. Double check the cable. And let's finish up the screw here. Once that is done, let's put the Wi-Fi antenna back in. You have to put the board through the Wi-Fi antenna while you're holding it down. You want to kind of press right in the middle. You know, the Wi-Fi antenna, we had a time difficult time to remove it because the thing was clipped onto it. So to install this back, you just have to uh, push it back in. And they kind of like a gap to install them back together. Just push it hard and the thing will just hold on together. While the thing is holding it down, I'm just going to fold down the uh, the PCB board, the LCD board, right? Holding it down. Get my T5. Get the two screws back in. while I'm holding it down still at the same time we are going to screw put the screw back in for the Wi-Fi antenna Okay, once all that is done, let's go ahead and reconnect the uh, LCD cable, the flex cable, they're kind of like Lego, you just have to align it properly and gently press it down. Do not forget the bracket and the two screw. And for the Wi-Fi antenna, it's a two little circle that holds on to the connector. What I recommend to do is take your time, really, really take your time. Because the two circle, you're just going to sit on top of each other just like that. That is the connector for the Wi-Fi antenna. 
you do not want to bend the circle because the circle if you if you align it off and you push it down and that might just get bent right so you need to really sit on top of each other and gently push it in almost without any effort if you get it on top of each other correctly So get the bracket back in and the screw. Once you're done, now it's time for the battery. So you need to tuck it in first, like slide it down. So the battery part here, you tuck it underneath first while the top is still lifting up. So tuck it up, lifting up on the top and then push it down and then clip it down. So you need to tuck it in from, from the bottom first. The bottom goes in while the top is still up, lift, lifting up when you slide it down and then you push the top down and the clip close it okay all that is done press the one in the middle to hold everything back down and put all the screws to put the back cover back together now and I just want to repeat myself again, if you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen or the tools, please check the link down description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement screen and the tools. The screen only cost me $157 at the price of today. I'm not sure in future how much they're going to cost. Hopefully it's cheaper. Uh, otherwise, you get an idea it's about $160 for the screen replacement okay now um, the next thing is you need to have the charger right before you power on the computer because we disconnected the battery for a while the computer is kind of lost its memory and the battery itself does not kick start the computer so you do need to have the charger plug in to kick start it so here comes the charger I have the charger here ready Push it in on the left, turn on the screen, you can hear that screen comes on and the Apple logo showing up. I just want to make sure that there's no um, pictures or anything hidden underneath. I do not want to display all that. Okay, there you go. You can see that the, oops, the glare on the screen might not be able to see it. Uh, there you go. I mean, as you can see that the display is there. That is the background of the Apple. Uh, go ahead and shut it down here. That is the shutdown button I can see. And let's go ahead and turn off the computer. Alright, so there you have it. And I uh, hope you like the video. And if you do find the video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for smashing the like button. And if you feel like you want to uh, share your gratitude, you can click on YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to uh, share your gratitude to, to support the video, just to, to support my channel, things that I do, and I really appreciate you for doing that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.